Hello guys and welcome to Base Watches. Founded in 1853 by the father-son team of Charles Fellowson and Charles Emile Tissot in the Swiss Jura town of Lillacol, Tissot is today one of the largest Swiss watchmakers in the world, with a versatile and varied collection of timepieces for men and women, from dressy to sporty to high-tech, all offering one of the industry's best value propositions across the board. With such a breadth of options, it's difficult to compile a list of the standouts, but for this compilation of the five best Tissot watches we strove to include just about all of Tissot's major collections, with an emphasis on men's watches. The Tissot Kemen des Tourelles in blue is a reflection of the brand's commitment to blending tradition with modernity. The stainless steel case is universally sized at 39mm in diameter, and 11.2 mm in height. Contemporary without being oversized, compact without being tiny, basically. There's a domed AR sapphire crystal protecting the dial, with an exhibition case back on the reverse side, and combined with polished and brushed elements, it can dress up or down. In fact, it would be equally at home in the boardroom or on the beach. A 20 mm 5-link steel bracelet really complements the case and adds a bit of sophistication and quick-release levers allow an effortless change to leather for a completely different vibe. Water resistance is rated at 50 meters, so it's safe for splashes of rain and even a quick dip in the pool. I would keep the bracelet on for any swimming adventures, by the way, and also because of its looks that perfectly complement the case and dial. Speaking of which, the deep blue dial has a dual-texture design with a clues de Paris or hobnail pattern at the perimeter and a sunray brushed finish at the center. The contrast between blue and steel is historically popular and works very well here. As the full name of the watch implies, powering the Tissot Kemen des Tourelles Parmatic 80 39mm is the outstanding Parmatic 80.111 automatic, based on the ETAC 7.111. Tissot S. Kemen des Tourelles Parmatic 80 39mm checks all of the boxes for a versatile Swiss watch that anyone can enjoy. The Tissot C-Star 2000 Black PVD reflects the brand's commitment to creating reliable and stylish timepieces. With a rich heritage and a focus on precision, Tissot continues to be a popular choice for watch enthusiasts around the world. The first thing that one notices about the watch is its massive presence. The C-Star 2000 Professional means business, and it does not shy away from the fact with its gigantic 46mm case. Interestingly, on the wrist, the C-Star 2000 Professional is rather pleasant despite the author's relatively smaller wrist circumference. This can be attributed to the short lugs, which translates to a lesser amount of overhang on the wrist. As with most flagship TISA watches, the C-Star 2000 Professional is fitted with the Powermatic 80. The self-winding movement features a patented Nivacron balance spring, and it boasts a power reserve of around 80 hours. In addition, the movement also has a deep function, in which the aperture is placed at the 6 o'clock position on the dial side. The finishing of the movement is simple and in line with its price point. The only notable touch is the winding rotor, which features Tissot's logo and some waves motif on it. Otherwise, it is a no-frills movement that does its job superbly and reliably. In conclusion, the Tissot C-Star 2000 Black PVD is a robust and stylish dive watch that embodies Tissot's dedication to both form and function. The concept of these partially opened dials isn't the most mainstream, as it sits in between a classic full dial and a more demonstrative, entirely open-worked movement. Yet it fills a gap in collections, as if it allows to see some of the movement's parts, legibility isn't too affected, and these watches retain some sleekness. There's been multiple open heart Tissot watches in the past, but the Gentleman Powermatic 80 open heart brings something more. Indeed, instead of a traditional round opening at 12 o'clock over the balance, it gives a bit more with an eight shaped cutout that sits between 9 and 12 o'clock and also reveals the escapement. The rest of the watch, except for the dial, is the same as before 40 mm diameter, a reasonable 11.50 mm height a nicely executed case made of brushed and polished stainless steel, 
a classic and timeless design that will go out of fashion and enough overall resistance to make this watch an all-rounder. The top is protected by an anti-reflective sapphire crystal, and wire resistance is rated at 100 meters, more than enough for a jump in the pool or even a bit of underwater fun. Inside the case is the ETA Powermatic Movement, a strong evolution of the 2824 architecture with an extended 80 power reserve. In conclusion, the Tissot Gentleman Powermatic A Open Heart is a testament to Tissot's ability to blend traditional watchmaking with contemporary aesthetics. When released last year, the Chronograph was the first and major update to the already well established PRX collection. Coming next to the 35mm quartz models and the 40mm quartz and Powermatic 80 editions, the Tissot PRX Automatic Chronograph is by far the boldest, most striking and sportier edition of this 1970s inspired collection. While most of the PRX models are relatively compact in size, with a 40mm diameter and a height comprised between 10.4mm and 10.9mm, the chronograph plays on different proportions. Explained by the presence of a valve-based movement, and yes, it's the best movement available in this price range, specifically with Tissot upgrades, but it's thick. The PRX automatic chronograph comes in a sizable case of 42mm, which remains acceptable, and with a height of 14.5mm. It's not thicker than any other watch in this category, but still, the thinness of the automatic model was appreciable and made them a joy to wear. Now you know, the Chrono is a sportier, weightier, and larger edition of the same 1978-inspired watch. Inside the case, we have the Caliber ETA of 5H31, a strong evolution of the Valju 7753. Notably, Tissot brings an extended power reserve of 60 hours and a Nivacron hairspring, protecting the watch against magnetic fields. The decoration, if industrial, is quite pleasant with pearlage on the bridges and a personalized, open-worked rotor. Tissot, a Swiss watchmaker with a history dating back to 1853, has established itself as a reputable brand known for its quality craftsmanship and innovation. The case of the Tissot Heritage 1948 chronograph immediately draws attention with its fantastic bomb lugs but the full package really starts to shine on closer inspection. The wide, sharply sloping, and polished bezel catches the light at almost any angle, visually compressing an already thin watch even flatter on the wrist. It offers a handsome contrast with the thin, lightly brushed mid-case. The overall size of the piece is something else worth mentioning. It's a rare occurrence for a brand to put out a chronograph in the 39mm range, the Heritage 1948 wears brilliantly, feeling compact and vintage on the wrist, while the tapering bezel helps to give the dial more presence than one would expect. Most of the dial is pitch-perfect mid-century beauty. The light silver of the main dial is surprisingly dynamic, going from a flat off-white to a sparkling metallic texture in direct sunlight. Inside this unconventionally beautiful case lies an equally beautiful movement. As a simple module addition to the ubiquitous 2892 three-hander, the ETA 2894 isn't usually considered a beauty queen among automatic chronographs, but here the decoration and execution elevate this workhorse into a proper show pony. There are deep, dynamic coats de Genève on the signed rotor, full pearlage on the plates, and further decoration around the edges. In conclusion, the Tissot Heritage Heritage 1948 is a testament to Tissot's ability to blend vintage inspiration with modern sensibilities. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I will see you guys later.